write songs, but Beverly Keel's lifelong impact on the country music world gets big applause on and off Music Row. This is so exciting. News Force Terry Bolger met the McGavick High School and Middle Tennessee State grad today at MTSU, where she's now the first female dean of the College of Music and Entertainment. Beverly Keel is still surprised when her piano strokes kind of sound like a Beatles song. But making music is not why she's here. I think they called me a disruptor, and that has to do with my activism. And of course, not everybody's happy with what I have to say. A journalist first in her father's footsteps, Columbia University, the Nashville Banner, the Tennessean, then Music Row Call, and she took over. When it comes to achievements, awards, Hall of Fames, Beverly's got a list that's about as long as my arm. It led to her current job, the first female dean inside the College of Music and Entertainment. The awards on the wall are about her past. So this would be what? This is the other side of the studio. So this is where the, the musicians and singers come. Her work at MTSU, paving the future. Country music has been the, the music of white people. It is not that people of color have listened to and have made country music. It's just that the industry doors have not been open to them. That's already changing. Brittany Spencer and Mickey Guyton now climbing the popularity charts. Beverly, not the star, but now the stars come to see her. Lionel Richie, Lester Holt, Smokey Robinson, and Alice Cooper all fans of the plan. I love Nashville. I love Middle Tennessee. Uh, they are wonderful places, but they can be better. And I want to be part of the, the group that helped makes it better. Terry Bolger, News 4, Nashville.